Yeah, 213 Rock, Final Times, The Classic Rock Radio. Allez, ouvrons le dossier Night Laser. Interview dans quelques minutes. Tout de suite, on commence avec le single Bitter Sweet Dreams, 213 Rock, Final Times, Classic Rock Radio. 213 Rock, with Eric Melodica, on Final Times, Classic Rock Radio. Ok, 213 Rock, Vinyl Times Classic Rock Radio en direct. Tonight, nous avons Rob, le bassiste du groupe Night Laser en direct. Tonight, qui vient présenter l'album Call Me What You Want. Hi Rob, nice to meet you. Hello Rob, nice to meet you as well. Thanks for having me. Yes, how are you man? Oh, I'm quite alright actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, how about you? Yes, I'm doing great. Are you in Hamburg at this moment? Uh, actually, no. I, right uh, at the moment, I'm in Koblenz. Um, oh. I had some family affairs to take care of today, so I'm sitting outside having a beer, relaxing the last rays of sun. Ah. Yeah, it's quite nice. <laughs> Ok, donc le groupe est en tournée à l'heure actuelle, il est côté de Koblenz en Allemagne. Donc ce soir, on a Rob le bassiste effectivement qui vient donc présenter cet album qui sera disponible pour vendredi. Donc ça va être cool, un album bien sleazy, rock, hard rock, glam, il y a toutes les tendances à l'intérieur. Un très bon disque. So Rob, my name is Harry Melodica, as you know, 213 Rock Show. Uh, this is the name of the show and hosted by Vinyl Times, the classic rock radio. As you know, we are based in Paris, France. Rob, thank you very much for accepting my live invitation. 
Yes, of course, always. It's a pleasure to be here. Ok, le groupe Night Laser sortira leur quatrième album. Ouais, ça sera pour ce vendredi qui s'intitulera Call Me What You Want. So, Rob, your new album will be released this Friday. Two years in the making, yes. studio recording, uh, recording, um, recording studio with the new members. Wow, wow, what a day job! Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the release because it will mark the end of a very, very, yeah, tough um, time for us. The last two years, they were very intense uh, work-wise. Mm -hmm. A lot of good things happened, but uh, we had to make them happen. So yeah, <laughs> took a lot of effort to, to, to reach this point. Effectivement, ces deux dernières années ont demandé beaucoup d'efforts, effectivement. Ils attendent beaucoup de bonnes choses, en tout cas, à partir de vendredi. And um, I think uh, the world band contributed uh, about uh, the new ideas because uh, I think now it's a real teamwork. Absolutely, yes. In the past, it was our former guitar player who did most of the songwriting. Mm -hmm. But this time, uh, together with the new additions to the group, we all came together. We contributed, every single one of us, everybody got to put his musical skill into the album from the beginning on. And you can really, really hear the, the different influences that every individual member brings to the, uh, to the album. Effectivement que c'est un véritable travail d'équipe En tout cas ce nouvel album Deux membres ont, ont intégré le groupe Par rapport au passé où il y avait juste, carrément, juste le guitariste quoi, Qui faisait à peu près toute la musique Là non, là c'est toutes les idées du groupe Donc ils ont voulu étendre, ils ont élargi Et la musique a, a nettement progressé hein, Par rapport aux trois premiers albums hein, C'est-à-dire euh, Fight for the Night, Laserhead et Power to Power Entre 2014 et 2020 Là ils reviennent effectivement avec un nouvel album So now the band plus 200 shows Now you've got already a lot of experience oh yes absolutely and we can really draw from that uh, especially during our live shows um, which mm -hmm. have become ever ever more tightly and more energetic and we we now know what works and what does not work what works with the audience what works for us but also this all this experience really paid off for the album production as well because we have gained a lot of skills music wise and uh, the same applies here we know how songs work by now mm -hmm. and we can really put all this knowledge into creating in my opinion the the Very best album that we ever produced. Effectivement, que maintenant ils ont acquis beaucoup de connaissances hein, concernant pour la processure, pour l'écriture. La, la, hein, effectivement, ils ont euh, ils ont aussi gagné des fans. Ils ont euh, ils ont beaucoup d'expérience maintenant. Ça monte en pression, comme il le dit. Et puis ouais, ils sont très heureux hein, et de, de, de toute cette situation là. Et ça c'est c'est cool en tout cas. And I think the new album sounds very human, very natural. This is my feeling. Oh yes, uh, thank you very much for noticing. Um, actually. Every single tone that you can hear on the album has been played by hand, even down to the synthesizers, the keyboards, the violin, oh. the cello. Uh, this is all human beings playing this in a studio. So we, we put a lot of um, yeah, effort into that and it was very important for us to create a very natural uh, sound. Mm -hmm. And I think we, we managed quite well to do this. For okay. example, when we recorded the, the drums, we set up like 20 or 30 microphones all over the studio to capture um the the room itself that i know you can do this with um uh like plugins for for ah. audio things but um, we wanted to have it the natural way and the authentic way ah plus de 20 micros ils ont utilisé hein, effectivement autour de la batterie tout a été fait à la main tout a été fait euh, humainement et naturellement hein. c'est ça effectivement que cet album c'est pour ça qu'il sonne pas comme les autres ils n'ont pas utilisé de plugins ou tout ce qui se s'ensuit aujourd'hui c'est non non ils ont tout fait à la main ils ont tout enregistré à la main c'est pour ça que ça a demandé beaucoup d'efforts and for this album you worked with uh, Dirk Schlatter the best player of Gamma Ray yes absolutely we are really really happy that we got him to produce the album because he obviously has a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge and he knows the music that we do very very well um one reason might be that gamma ray has been a major influence for benno and myself from the early years on so uh, we are really really happy um he made it made the album sound way more heavy and he he's a he's a perfectionist you know he let us uh, repeat parts over and over um he didn't want to do a lot of cutting but instead he let us repeat the parts until we played them perfectly and this really really added to the feeling of the album Effectivement qu'avec travail avec Dirk Schlatter qui lui-même est fan effectivement euh, Rob donc de Gamma Ray euh, ça a été un grand moment ça a été aussi une joie il les a fait travailler il les a fait répéter jusqu'à que tout soit parfait il a été, ils ont été vraiment jusqu'à la perfection et ils ont utilisé aussi toutes les connaissances qu'avait euh, Dirk hein, effectivement au sein de ce type, ce type de musique dont ils, essayaient de, ils ont essayé de composer les meilleurs titres du moment le, vraiment les Meilleures idées, voilà, c'est ça, c'est les meilleures idées, ils les ont mis et tout ça, ça a été fait en travail d'équipe, real teamwork, c'est ça, vraiment un travail d'équipe. And Rob, this afternoon I was looking um, at the artwork of, uh, of your new album. I wonder if the band right. is on the new superheroes. 
<laughs> ah, ah, no, actually, um, <laughs> um, yeah, we, we chose this uh, this artwork because one of the songs from the album is about heroes in general, but more in a metaphoric way. Um, it was created during the COVID um, times, mm -hmm. and it means to to give a room for the people that were the real superheroes of that time frame, but were barely noticed, like uh, health workers, um, nurses, doctors, maintenance workers who had to keep on working, and so on. So those were the uh, the the heroes of that time. Maybe you mean uh, you are talking about Captain Punishment? Oh, that actually, that song is much, much older. Ah, um, okay. That was written in the, in the very early days, like 2011, maybe. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, no, that, that's, that's a different topic, to be fair. Alors oui, effectivement, donc euh, cet après-midi, je regardais la pochette, effectivement, et je me suis dit, ils ont vraiment, euh, enfin, il y a un super-héros comme un, comme un super-héros, effectivement, et, et en, en regardant aussi la photo-session du groupe, hein, qui est vraiment très jolie, I said, um, the photo-session of the band is really, is really pretty cool, uh, that's why I'm saying that it's oh, like you. a super-heroes, et donc je disais tout simplement qu'effectivement, ils ont un look de super-héros, ils ont, en fait, regardé, il y avait un rapport avec la pochette, et euh, je pensais qu'il y avait un il y a un autre titre hein, sur l'album qui s'appelle Captain Punishment. En fait, c'est un titre qui date de, de, de 2011, en fait. Et je me, je me suis dit que c'était peut-être, ça aurait pu être, l'album aurait pu s'appeler ainsi. Non, en fait, c'est toute une variation et tout de sujets qui sont, qui se sont passés depuis 2020, depuis le Covid, etc. Et euh, donc, en fait, ils ont vraiment donné le nom de cet album, Call Me What You Want, exactement. And your new album begins with the track Bitter Sweet Dreams. Yeah, it's a very catchy track. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, ah. um, this has been a collaboration of our new guitar player Felipe, he's the dark hat guy, and our singer who just sat down and were like, "Okay, we we really just need to start jamming to come up with new songs for the album." And this is what they produced. Uh, they just had the idea for the main riff, and we all elaborated from there. Mm -hmm. Effectivement, il a travaillé avec le, le nouveau guitariste, hein, Philippe. Et euh, donc, euh, concernant ce nouveau titre, euh, qui est vraiment cool, hein, Bitter Sweet Dreams, il y a même un clip vidéo qui est disponible. Hein. And the music video has been viewed by over uh, 114,000 views uh, and great feedback from your fans. Hein. It's very interesting, uh, Rob. Yes, thank you very much. We are really, really proud of that. And we did not think that this would happen, that this would uh, be appreciated so much. Um, we love the song, but um, the experience from our previous uh, releases showed us that it usually takes longer for them to gather that many views. Mm -hmm. So apparently we, we hit a nerve there and we're really happy about this. Mm -hmm. Effectivement, très heureux, hein. 114 000 vues déjà, avec d'excellents messages. Ouais, ils en sont très heureux en tout cas. And your second single um, was uh, Way to the Thrill, released one month ago. It's, this track is really inspired by the ideas. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> That was actually written by our drummer, who's... Um, also very like like a jazz and swing drummer as well um that's part of his job he, he drums all kinds of things but i i think you can hear the influences in this song as well um of course it's 80s all the way he loves toto by the way so that might be one of the reasons as well mm -hmm. effectivement que le titre way to the thrill a été écrit par le batteur hein, avec ses influences 80s notamment euh, très bon titre hein, et puis ouais cette bonne vibe and i i guess don't call me a hero your last single released the last week ago is your best track of the new album Oh, you think so? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a good. Yeah, it's a great track. Yeah, I was so surprised for the yeah. for the the last single. Yes, it's growing up salesly. Nice. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. I'm really glad to hear this. It's it's interesting because different reviewers pick out different songs from the album as their favorite. So there's not like this one single that everybody loves and the rest just goes along. But every single one actually. Every single song of the album has been named as a favorite by at least one of the reviewers that we had for the album. Mm -hmm. Effectivement, qu'il y a plusieurs titres, il y a plusieurs avis, il y a des singles différents, mais ça montre progressivement, en tout cas. Et puis ce titre qu'on aura en sortie d'interview, Don't Call Me Hero, est très intéressant. C'est certain. Je pense que c'est un des meilleurs titres de l'album. Et euh, ça dépend des avis, en fait, ça dépend des goûts. And I guess this track, Don't Call Me a Hero, on stage, it's a big party. Oh yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Our guitar player, he, he plays a talk box. Uh, you know, this this thing that Bon Jovi does as well. Oh, yeah. wah, 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 wah. <laughs> right? Yeah, so he does that. And then we have the, the twin guitar leads and also the shouting parts. So call me hero, the, the audience can participate and Of course, we go crazy on stage. So yeah, it's, it's a huge party. Effectivement, que le titre en concert d'Odd Call Me Hero, c'est euh, c'est la fête en tout cas. C'est une grosse partie. Puis il y a le Talk Box. Vous savez, façon Bon Jovi, c'était le, le titre Living on Prayer, je crois. Et euh, ouais, ouais, ouais. En fait, comme il il l'a bien fait en tout cas, c'était assez assez marrant. <laughs> And there is a lot of guitar work on this new album. Some great riffs, some great solos. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we are really proud of our new guitarists. Um, as I mentioned Felipe before. He's like a very sleazy, mm. dirty, hard rock enthusiast. He loves Guns yes. N' Roses. He looks like Slash, so all <laughs> that fits. On the other hand, we have Vince, who's who's a very um, 
Yeah, like like power metal and prog metal kind of guy. He loves Nightwish and and stuff like that, and has some some really yeah just just crazy skills uh, on the guitar. Mm-hmm. So if you, if you put these two guys together, what uh, what they produce to me, it's just pure magic. Yeah, you mean about Felipe Zapata Martinez? That's right. Yes, exactly. Ouais, effectu- And the other one, Vincent, Vincent Hala, he's the power metal guy. Mm-hmm. Effectivement. Alors, Philippe est beaucoup plus glam, beaucoup plus Guns N' Roses, effectivement. Il adore Slash. Il aime des, il aime ces choses-là, hein. guitariste Sleaze et tout. Il aime bien ça. Et puis, il euh, y a Vincent, l'autre, l'autre guitariste, Vincent Hadler, qui est beaucoup plus Nightwish, beaucoup plus symphonique et tout. Donc, les deux, les deux se complètent parfaitement, hein, pour la musique, en tout cas, de Night Laser. Et, euh, ouais, a, alors, lui, il apprécie ça, hein. en tout cas, ces différentes idées qu'ils arrivent à combiner, en tout cas, au sein de, de, de ce nouvel album. Donc, je rappelle cet album sorti ce vendredi, il s'intitulera Call Me What You Want, le groupe c'est Night Laser, en direct, Tonight en 213 Rock, Vinyl Times, The Classic Rock Radio, le bassiste du groupe Robert Ankers en direct, Tonight, oh yeah So Robert, Robert, just before the end How was your last shows at uh, Nuremberg Wacken, Seaborg Oh, uh, to be honest, they have all been absolutely great, we're touring with Freedom Call at the moment and apparently their audience likes us very much as well, so mm. we're playing to, to almost full crowds and they go crazy after the third or fourth song at latest that we play and we get minutes of of ovations after our sets and we had to play on course at every single show so far So it's just been a great experience. Mm-hmm. Effectivement, une véritable expérience. Ils sont en tournée actuelle avec Freedom Call, donc ça, ça, ça se passe super bien. Les trois dernières dates, effectivement, que j'ai nommées, hein, Nuremberg, Wacken, Sigbourg, ont été énormes. Ouais, ils apprécient en tout cas l'hospitalité de Freedom Call. Des fans aussi ils sont accueillis tous les soirs avec bonheur. Oh yeah. So maybe for the next year, the next few years, hope to see you in France. Oh, we would love to. We've been trying to get there for years, and hopefully, with this new record, we can make it happen. That would be great. Ok, donc j'espère en tout cas qu'ils viendront jouer en France. Lui aussi, il l'espère dans les, dans les, peut-être cette année, peut-être l'année prochaine en tout cas. Ça, c'est vraiment cool. Alors, je rappelle l'album Call Me What You Want, le, le track listing, le voici. Ça démarre avec Bitter Sweet Dreams. En deux, Way to the Thrill. En trois, No More Changes. En quatre, Don't Call Me a Hero. En cinq, Low of the Vulture. En six, Last Train. En sept, Travelers in Time. En huit, Captain Punishment. En neuf, Fielder of the Roof. Ainsi que deux bonus tracks, Thing Ice et Uber Allman. Le live c'est Beno Enkers, son frère qui est au chant, Philippe Zapata Martinez à la guitare, Vincent Edler à la guitare, Robert Enkers en direct tonight, c'est à la basse, et Igmar Oswald à la batterie, 213 Rock Vinyl Times, Classic Rock Radio. So Rob, thank you very much for this live interview. I cross my finger for watching you maybe at the Hellfest the next two years. Oh yeah, thank you so much, Harak. This has been great fun, and yeah, it would be a real pleasure to see you there. Okay, uh, do you have a message for the audience tonight, please? Um, I do actually. Uh, I try to keep it short. Guys, go out there, go to the shows, go watch the bands that play in the smaller venues, go support the metal um, scene. Because without you guys, we are nothing. And if you only go to the large venues, the small ones will close. Oh yeah, Robert Enkers en direct tonight dans 213 Rock, Mind All Times, The Classic Rock Radio. L'album Call Me What You Want et des Night Laser sera disponible ce vendredi. 213 Rock, Mind All Times, The Classic Rock Radio. Tout de suite le single Don't Call Me a Hero. Oh yeah, 213 Rock. 